sure. Okay. Lock Go. the door. Hello. You didn't even tell me oh, we no, were starting. We Lord. were talking. Hello, everyone. <laughs> welcome, welcome. Sorry, it's a little crazy this morning. We have so many things we're working on, and I am sorry we're a little bit behind, but I was trying to um, get everything ready. There's a lot to get ready for this show, and we're working on subscriptions. Um, a little secret, there's going to be a birthday box. So that's what we've Ooh. been working on. So woo, woo. it's going to be exciting. Maybe Kristen and I can get that together, too, in my spare time. Of which I have none. <laughs> mm. As everyone can see, dun, 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 dun. it's done. It's done. I'll talk more about it at the end of the show. But how cute is that? This is my. That's okay. okay. I don't care. It's too late. You can't point it out in the middle of it. I could try. Isn't it gorgeous? It is so pretty. I love it. Here, let me make this be a little more. So then it's good. Then it looks like we're... I'll show you guys what I'm currently working on. And you guys will see I'm going to do an Instagram video on this. So here's what I'm currently working on. And my gauge is off. Let's be clear. I did not gauge. I kind of gauge as I go. So I've got this far and I'm like, oof. So I messaged Susan last night. She was already in bed. And said... Do you think this will grow two stitches and four inches? Asking for a friend, right? <laughs> this has to be torn out. So I'm going to do a video on it. I did not gauge it. I just used the needle that they said. And then I don't mind, like, this is okay. Like, I don't mind wasting that time. Right. Now I know. I need to go up two needle sizes to get gauge. Your project was your swatch. That is. Sometimes I do that. it is. Sometimes. And I'm okay with that because sometimes I just need to cast on. So let's see what this actually is. Oh, yeah. Even though it would be here, it would fit, right? Yeah. Oh, let me show them. Yeah, so yes. it goes like this. But 26 would not fit the rest of my body. So it's a good to know. Good to know, people. And it's a truly accurate swatch because you were relaxed and thought you were knitting on the real thing. Yeah. But I, I think this is going to be really pretty. So we'll tear that out and start over again. Which is fine. And gosh, it's going to be so much easier because it's going to be on a bigger needle. Very true. I believe, I don't have my glasses on. I think I'm on a six. I could be on a four. Lordy, double stranded? Yeah. Um, does anyone else have a heart? What? Yes. I want to talk to Chow Goo. I know. I want these to be, well, I know why they're doing it. I think they're lasered, but could they make it black or something? This is a five. So Whoa. I have to do a seven. Yeah. Double but that's standard. okay. That's crazy. So that's going to go in there. This may be an Olympic project. Cindy says she does the same thing. Sometimes it takes three tries. Cindy Pert. Yeah. C Cindy hates to gauge. I think we all dislike it. Yes. Sometimes I didn't gauge this either. But I know my, I kind of know I think I misread that one. I thought it said 22 stitches, mm. so I used the needle that I would, and in fact, I am getting 22 stitches. The gauge is 20. Hello, hello, hello. All right, I'm gonna show you guys a little bit. I'll come out and show you my sweater, because I think it's fabulous. And then I went and bought, I had 15 minutes in between, like getting to where I was going yesterday afternoon, I ran in without trying on things. I bought five pairs of white pants <laughs> to find because I feel like it's, it's a look and my daughter approved it. But this is spring fling all in one word. It's top down. I used, um, this was stash yard. So I used La Biera Me from last year because I decided I couldn't buy any more until I used something. Uh, which is silly, but I held it together, the single ply. So the Madeline Tosh, the fingering is perfect for this. It is one strand of that, one strand of silk mohair. This was from my stash. This is a DK weight. What was the name of that one? It is the softest know. alpaca ever. Surrey? No, 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 listen, this is the company. Oh. They're in Oregon. It was in our clearance, and I could not let oh, it go. Oh, uh, Outback? Our, our Back 40? Yeah. Oh, this is it. Yeah. Our Back 40. 
And then I have a little bit, Susan's gonna have to come in closer with beaded silk and sequins. I will do a quick picture later to show you the before and after oh, yeah, now we in see blocking. The you see the little yeah. bit of, it's in here. And you can see it kind of does get lost a little bit, but I don't care. No one's gonna know. But I think it's so cute. I worked on this on my trip and worked on it on the retreat. But it's cute. I when I picked up, I did like two inches and then an inch. But I like I like everything about it. I like the length. I like it with these linen esque pants. It's comfortable. And I even have white kicks on it. Just my daughter's like, aren't you stylish? I said, you know it. <laughs> Do you want to know, did you change needle size using fingering and DK? Did you change? Okay, hold on. What are we talking about for this? Yeah. I used, um, I think I used a four on this one. This is the smallest needle I've ever used before on a sweater, and I finished it, so I'm proud of myself. Uh, Deb, I would love to hook you up. We have some gorgeous um, Mad Tosh, the Twist Merino Light is a single ply. It's crazy soft. Here's what I like about it. It's lightweight, but not hot. It's so cute. I love it. Anyway, I'm glad you guys liked it. I think it's uh, very, very fun, easy. The yellow, well, because, no, the Sandy, it's when you're putting a fingering with a, it's double-stranded, so it's knit at DK. I mean, it's probably 22 stitches, right? So you're single stranding the green and together you're holding a fingering plus a lace weight mohair, which gives you what you need it to be. Thank you, Roxanne. Yeah, so double strand here. That's where you can see. Can you see the halo if you get close? See on your sleeve, I, yeah, there we can see it there. There is, this is the first time I've actually done something with a silk mohair, I am a little sensitive, but I'm okay with this. So I know I can use Art Yarns. I probably would put the cashmere in it. Like, mm, this is my favorite. Oh, like I love that like one. This. this is what I mostly do. This is the Lang Cashmere Dreams. So it gives you the halo without any itchiness, but it's honestly not bad. And I just... You guys, everyone, everyone who needs a new washing machine, get one with a hand wash wool cycle. This went in the washing machine and then I laid it flat. And I didn't block it like Susan. I didn't use a measuring tape. I literally <laughs> was like, eh, eh, looks good, looks good, done. Put an oscillating fan on. Okay. So that's what, I, that's what I've been doing. Finish. This is the third. It's very exciting. So I need to finish something this month to keep up with my goal of one sweater a month. But I do. I really like it. I'm really proud of myself because four needles, that's very that's tiny, tiny for me. I don't even go that tiny anymore. Oh, Beverly, you found us. Good. The weather. All right. We're going to jump right in. Oh, my gosh. What we have to showcase today, you are going to want to have a second device open because everything that I'm showing you, there's one of. Yeah. It is things that I schlepped back in my suitcase from Germany for you guys from our yarns and they're not the bases that we always use. So they're, they're one of a kind, meaning one kit. All right, we're gonna talk about the monthly grand prize. This is going to be, um, we're gonna do the drawing on Wednesday, May 1st. It comes with three different patterns, Solmont, Sun Scented Than Desert and Shallops all start with an S. Hello. Two skeins of a retired yarn from Noro. This is a real great find. This is Kiri. You have enough to do a medium of all three of the patterns. So you can get three out of one. Ooh, Roxanne finished her retreat shawl too. Ooh, what awesome. did you do? Which one? We have our cashmere goat. It's so cute. We love little stuffies. We have the I'm the rainbow of the sheep family socks. We have silk, my favorite, no rinse wool wash, and this beautiful, fully lined purple heaven uh, project bag made from our favorite seamstress, Judy Dryling. It's gorgeous. Very high quality cotton because I'm buying it myself when I see things that I love. Susan, how did it get entered to win? 
Every time you make a purchase, you get one entry. So the more purchases you make, the more entries you get. It is cumulative through the month of April, and we will draw on May 1st. Oh my God. Second. I just said it. The first. I Wednesday, know. the first. Numbers. Where's your sheet? Um, that was on your list on Saturday. To yeah. you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right. Where? Okay. So there we go. I love it. All right, our daily prize. We have a beautiful skein of Lane de Nord uh, weave, which is 100% cotton. You can tell there's patterning in this, just the way that it is. So it's gonna give more of a fair aisle look. The background's cream. We've got some beautiful um, blues, a little bit of forest green, olive green, sunshine yellow. This is definitely in the blues, love it. And one of our patterns, Dose. I don't know why I named it Dose. Let's see, what was my story? I don't know. I think the original was double-stranded, and then we oh, it could be. It. It's a simple paired yarn over fabric. I love this one. So there you go. You have enough to make that. It's beautiful. 385 yards to create this loveliness. And how you get entered to win this one is all through engagement. Oh, Shelly's driving to Idaho with your hubby. I couldn't. Why didn't you fly? Road trips are awesome. No, no. I went on too many road trips <laughs> in my marriage. Well, it wasn't too bad because I got to sit and knit the whole time. Yeah. I just would rather fly. I grew up as a kid going cross country with my grandparents. So. Oh, wow. I love it. But you're not the driver either. No. You're the passenger. Oh, I love that. Well... Have fun on that road trip. That's lots of knitting and reading time. Right. So that is a good thing about it. I think I wouldn't mind a road trip if I was a passenger. Now I have to be the driver. Yeah. And that is, that sucks. I'd still do it. Oh, God. <laughs> How you get entered to win this is every time you react to the video, you're going to get one entry for every reaction. Every comment's going to give you five entries. And. Then, if you want to really boost your things, share to your friends, share to your feed. All right. Got another compliment on your sweater. Thank you. All right. Just post to your feed. You do have to pop right back in. Wow, that was a really slow. Shared to my friends. Share to my feet. Thank you, Stacy, for your share. Thank you, Stacy. I love, I do love my sweater. I'm very excited. I have a lot of sweaters now. You do? I know I'm going to have to figure out how to organize them here at this store. Because I never, <laughs> here's where I get dressed for work. I did wear this today. Yeah. Um, normally I get dressed here. All right, so let's go off of yesterday. Oh, that's not it. Wrong. Sorry. But you guys did get a sneak peek of something that's coming for LYS Day. <laughs> okay, it's right here. Let's see who's going to be the lucky winner of this prize. Deb Massa! Congratulations, Woo! Deb! Deb Massa is not located here. She is in Pittsburgh. No, Philadelphia. I'm going to say Philadelphia. Sorry. No, I think it is Pittsburgh. I don't know. You She's should, somewhere back there. You should totally anyway, come visit. She is. That's exciting. She's coming in June. So we're going to have like a get together for her at the store. She's one of our people that found us during COVID. And she got her family to schedule a vacation out on the West Coast so her and her daughter could come visit the store. Nice. So, um, everyone, if you're local, keep that date open. She's going to be here, I think, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday of June 18th. I like it. Our out-of-town people become famous when they come visit. I know. I we all it. want to meet everybody. And if you are not local and you want to come visit us, we would love it. We, have, we really enjoy it. All right. We have this super cute card. It actually says, Dad is my favorite, and then you open it. Dad is okay, but if I had to choose, it'd be you. Happy Mother's Day. That's right. It's I hilarious. Mean, I would love a card, but I think they're just funny. 
funny, funny, funny cards. Let me get my better glasses on. All right. Who is ready to see? Susan's going to drop the link. I'm going to drop the link. You are going to want to have your second device ready because there is a very, there is one of each of the ones that I'm going to show you. And remember, if you want them wound, just put in the notes, please wind me and we will be happy to wind it for you. Oh, I love that. Um, Joyce oh, nice. She gave one of our bags away to a newer. Okay, so here we are. So you guys know when I go to trade shows, I'm always trying to bring merchandise back in my suitcases. That's why I end up having to buy, that is why I had to buy a second suitcase because of this yarn. I was not planning on it and then it was available. So in Merino, in art yarns, we normally will carry Merino Cloud, beaded silk and sequins. We dabble in the others. We have cashmere, which is gorgeous, um, two ply mohair, but this is a newer base to us, beaded mohair and sequins. And we have paired them together with one, two skeins. One skein, most have one skein of Merino Cloud and then the beaded mohair. They are beautiful. Melanie, you need to come. Just, you don't have to bring anything. All right, so here we are right here. We have color number 319, and this is 2319, which is a highlight in that. So this is the most beautiful butter yellow. The Merino Cloud has 80% extra fine Merino, 20% cashmere. The uh, beaded mohair and sequins is 60% silk, 40% mohair, and then glass beads and sequins. There's 114 yards on this one. The beaded mohair and sequins is not something that we're gonna normally carry. This is just gonna be the quick way to get something not in our regular lineup. It really comes down for, to space, why we don't carry the entire line. Um, Capel's Creek, oh my gosh, that would be yeah. a great one. Let me try and pull, I'll pull that one up in a second. So this is a very warm butter yellow. I love in the beaded mohair and sequins, you have highs and lows. This one has clear beads and sequins. Together you have, let's see, 560 yards together. But you can see very warm. I'm gonna do it this way so you can show the color. The next one, oh, it is the palest yellow. You can see a real difference in this one. This is a lemon yellow, so it's cool. Color 404. You can see there's bits of cream and this, this delicious cool yellow. The beaded mohair and sequins, it has silver beads and see, actually, it's interesting. The beads look like there's almost black in there. Yeah, I wonder if they're lined. I feel like they must be. Isn't that beautiful? I'm gonna turn it around so you guys can, oh wait, see this one's backwards, sorry. 404, so you can see the difference in the tones. Two three or three one nine is warm. Four oh four is cool. Let me do one more. I'm gonna pull up Capel's Creek because that is actually we have quite a few of our patterns are perfect for this. I think these two colors together would be a stunning combination. You could do by both kits. Right. Then you have enough to do a sweater. Really, really pretty. All right, so if we are looking, this is the one Melanie's talking about. This is Capel's Creek. There are gorgeous, it is a cowl with these double wrap drops and stockinette. The drops are done in the beaded silken sequence. So it's gonna be very subtle. This is 48 by nine. Okay. 
next in the lineup. Remember, as I said, people are like, oh my gosh, I want it. There is only one of Don't all Don't wait. And Don't oh wait. God, this one I love stunning. this one. This is color 1051. Again, merino cloud, beaded mohair and sequins, 60-40, 60% silk, 40% mohair, glass beads and sequins. This is silver. I do feel like that's a different one. This is a lined dark one, but you can see this is silver lined. This has the base is cream and then you have little blips of the other. There's gorgeous um, violet red, red violet. We have a beautiful cerulean blue, sunflower yellow, and there's a little bit of green too. Look at that, ooh, seafoam green right there. And look at how it uh, transfers to the beaded mohair and sequins, it's like watercolor because the mohair diffuses the color. One and done for sure. One, oh yeah, I didn't even post one and done just because we, we do always do. One and done would be gorgeous. So this is 1051. Both colors are listed on the website listings. All right, I was gonna kind of look this way so that we can find our, whoa, 197 patterns. Holy smokes. Right? And 98 coming up. Right, Um. Oh, that's right, 98. I was trying to find other ones. I'm sure there's another way to do this, but we're going on to the next color. Spring Daybreak is another one. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm gonna let you talk about this color while I look for patterns. Oh, it's so pretty. It, this is gorgeous. This is, we'll do it this way, 2287. The reason why I let you do this one, this is a color you wear all the time. <laughs> I do wear a lot of pink lately. Uh, this has got highs and lows. It's just, it's a nice rose pink combination. And the beaded tag, I don't think that tag oh, is correct. Okay, no, this is. Is it? This is one of the ones that I was telling you about. This is beaded cashmere and sequins. It is 65 silk and 35 cashmere. It's so pretty. You can what see the single ply are... of that one. Those clear sequins and the, they are they are dark it's like lined smoky. beads and I can see it on this one. They're definitely lined with probably black. I would say clear black lined mm -hmm. beads in them with the well, maybe they're silver sequins. It just sparkles so fun. You've got such good highs and lows in this one. It's a great combination. It's a lot of patterns to scroll through. I did find a couple. So here's another one of our patterns that would be gorgeous. Oh, right. This is Cristo de Glace. I think this is gorgeous. That's a fun It one. is going to be more subtle um, using the same color, but I think it would be, it's well worth the look of it. So it's slip stitches, knits and pearls. Really pretty. We need to re-photograph this one. Let me write that on our list. Um, I think this was designed for Iris. I'm I sure. Think so I did one in white with um, bright pink beads and sequins. So that's one of ours. Um, size seven needle. You really have everything that you need to do the first one and the second one. Here's another one. This is Cherry Drop. This is an easier version of uh, Capel's Creek. You can see the beaded silk and se beaded silk and sequins, but that's what you where you would put beaded mohair or the beaded cashmere, and then the merino clouds in drops. You could make it bigger. You could have less sections of the sequins, but he very pretty here. And it's knit on a size seven needle. Nice, boy, that's pretty. Mm hmm. I feel like you could do, you know, just make it wider by doing um, more of the blues around mm -hmm. it. 
you have plenty of yarn to change it up or do maybe one, do one just like that and the other one just do what out of the leftover. This is 2287. 2287 is highlights. So you're seeing highs and lows of the same yarn. Okay, I love this one. Oh, here we are again. This is, um, I don't, this is one that had multiple colors. So pretty. So we have shades of carnation pink. You can see that warm pink rosebud and then the section which is really almost in there this leans more blue and look at the coordinated beaded silk and sequins it's silver lined but you're getting so many there's even a little bit of rust in there there's fuchsia there's violet there's federal blue you have this gold this gorgeous sable Oh, wow. Melanie says she almost got that one, but went with a different one instead. All right. Let's show some. I still have, oh my gosh, nine so more. I'm going to do, I'll finish this lineup of shades, and then we'll show a bunch of patterns. So this is N2F. That's a neon. I don't even know neon too. I don't know what the F stands for. But look at this beauty. This is actually beaded silk and sequins. I love that you get some lighter shades in there. Beautiful silver lined glass beads and silver sequins. Um, they make this all themselves. They basically ply it together. They're the components of That's it. Amazing. With a beautiful skein of merino cloud. I love this one. This is $3.98, this one, and this is $7.398. So this is a gradient um, and will self-strike like all the other sevens from the lightest shade, medium, all the way up to the dark. This is a really hard color to describe. It's in the neon. I'm going to say neon red for a neon because neon doesn't really have a true red but it leans really um, pink I think let me see if it's true to what it is oh yeah it's that is definitely true to that good morning Maggie I believe the beads are silver they are they're silver lined and silver sequins all right, let's show you some ideas that I found. And how I went about it, I just picked yardage, That's right? Pretty. So if you're doing something like this, you would have areas. I just throw in the beads every so many rows. You do two rows and you're carrying it up. So you could decide, um, let's see. Every eight rows, you would put in two rows of beads beaded silken sequins or um, beaded cashmere and sequins or beaded mohair and sequins. You figure out how much you need. I have four times the amount, close your eyes, close your ears to the words, <laughs> four times the amount of merino cloud to beaded silken sequins. So eight rows of merino cloud, two rows of beaded silken sequins. And don't worry about it. You just do it on a right side row every and carry it up. Easy, easy, easy. That is Foggy Dew by D. O'Keefe. I think it's beautiful. You would want to use one of the ones that is semi solid or the highlights or the seven series. All right, next we have the Mercer Shawl. This is again, this is a cowboy cowl or a shawl. But again, you're just gonna do it, like for me, I would do it in the sections here, the garter rows, yeah. and then just make it be longer down here. So the top would have none, and then all around the money piece would be right there. Pretty, pretty. Mm-hmm. Oh, you know what? This is what I was, depending on your size, you could do this out of it, because it's saying, on a size eight needle, you need 480 to 500 yards. Mm. 
I just think this is gorgeous. Melanie just did this out of Linen Whisper. I think she did different colors, but it is beautiful. I know, really quick. And she did the, uh, she knit the machine on the back. Nice. Lots of people have made this. It is a free pattern. Here's some. Is that gorgeous? This is on my list. I think it's a one size, but if you need help sizing, easy to do. Love this one. That would be gorgeous in the linen. Mm-hmm. Very drapey. So cute. And, okay, it's a little crop. Just get an extra skein or so. Interesting. It's like sideways. Oh, wow. Interesting. You wonder, like, did she... Oh, look at this person did a V. Oh, I love that. Let's see what it says. Did you... No. No, no notes. Of course. All right. Um, I thought this would be fun. So you would do the color work in the beaded silk and sequins and the rest would be there. Cute, it's a little cropped, but look how cute it looks over a sundress. Honey cowl, always. That's a great pattern. Honey cowl, one of my favorites. Um, it's free. I have knit many of them. Again, you're just gonna carry up and every once in a while throw in some beaded silk and sequins. Very, very pretty. This is the Hill Island Wrap. So you guys can see how I'm picking these. Just doing a little section. And maybe you're not doing all of this. You're going to do all of this till you run out of your Merino Cloud. And then you start with your other one. And just go till you run out. I thought this was cute. This is Yasolda Teague. She's so... That's fun. Yeah. It's almost like a... Yeah, that's Back cute. Days. Yeah, it it's is. the yeah, yarn over basket cute. weave pattern that I love. There's a spot when we wrote a pattern recently, there's a spot right there that you could put your beaded silk or you just do it at the end. That is a more difficult pattern to write than it looks because if you're changing yeah. your numbers, you got to keep doing it. Oh, I thought this was cute. How many of you get stuck in the perfectionist trap? Sometimes. Sometimes I do. It depends what it is. In my knitting, I try to embrace the imperfection, um, but this would be a great one. Again, every once in a while, you're gonna throw in two rows of beaded silk and sequins, or you just do the end of it. But I thought this is beautiful. It looks really easy, so I love that. That's a lot of knitting and then a knit through the back loop. 500 yards, so you have enough with any of these kits to create this. Who's ready to see more? Okay, the next one is super special. We have never had this base in the store. Melanie, I was thinking, Melanie is not a perfectionist at all. <laughs> I love it. I live to be like Melanie. Okay, this is, it's really not that expensive for what you're getting. Less yardage. This is 100% cashmere with Lurex. This is cashmere glitter. You're, it's not something we ever carry in the store. Color 369 with gold. And this beauty, 746 beaded mohair silk and sequins. This reminds me of my mom. All these yeah. colors she would wear. Her hair was almost like one of these colors, but gorgeous. boy, there's peach. It's sunset, you know, that really nice, peach we've got some yellow some um yellow orange clear sequins and clear beads i love 369 that neutral camel is so popular right now how many of you are rushing to put this in your cart right thank you angelus so the cashmere glitter does have less yardage, 170 yards, but with beaded silk and sequins, there's another 114. So it's almost 300 yards. You can do any of those um, cowls that we showed out of ours, the medium size would be perfect for this one. All right, next, again, another beautiful brown. I love color 260. I call it root beer, but it's like that um, really antique gold. 
and look at this silk mohair and glitter. Again, 60% kid mohair, 40% silk, color 310. It's just shades of gold. You can see there's cream, this nice mushroom, and the lightest gold. Look at that together. Gorgeous. Knits up beautifully. Devin likes that one. Right? That's beautiful. Beautiful. I would do a top out of this. I have to remember, because here's the thing. She has all these yarns, and most everyone puts their name on it. And I was like, well, if there's anything left over, I'll take some. And then I was like, I'll take this, I'll take this, I'll take this. But I would do a top out of these. If you are a winter color, this is definitely a good color for you. Yeah. Rich antique gold, but I always call it root beer. Okay, we have more patterns, and then we're gonna move on to our final five kits. And they are beauties. Okay, I thought this was fun. This is the double espresso scarf. Um, it kind of looks, you know, it's a little bit like Sophie where you start small and go big. But if you have just a little bit of yarn, that cashmere glitter, this kit would be perfect. Because you just increase till you've used half your yarn and start decreasing. You can see this is just a simple knit one, purl one pattern, but it's almost like there's I-cord at the edges. Nice little twist. You will Let's not get bored. Let's see. Double espresso scarf. Oh, gosh, 175 So you could easily do the small. Like I said, you just keep going. Rhomb-shaped rhomb scarf works sideways in brioche with I-cord edges. That's gorgeous. I wouldn't want it this long, but I think it's beautiful. Just a little a little something-something. Oh, that's cute. This is cute. This is really pretty. This is Sora. I know. Look at. I'm finding all these patterns. Okay. I like that. There's different. It's like reversed fabric almost. It is. I feel like on one side it looks like this. On one side it looks like that. Gorgeous. And you're just gonna put in some of the other. You have always bring in your new color on the right side row, and you're gonna do two rows, and then pick it up on the other side. This one, Didany. That's a fun border. Mm -hmm. It's got to be oh, a it's sideways. It, um, yeah. The knitting here is. Mm -hmm. Well, I feel like you do this and then you pick up this, right? Yeah. And then go down. Let's see what they say. This is gorgeous. Size 12, Nita. 12. What? They're using DK weight on a 10. That's a little drapey. Tip of the border made of slip. Oh, wow, you don't. Um, I like that. You don't pick up and do it. Mm -mm. Isn't this gorgeous? This is a good picture. I would say it'll be a little bit smaller. I wouldn't do it on a 10. I would do the same pattern, but on like an 8. 9 at the most. Okay. Chicory by Laura Aylor. I like her patterns. They're simple. Nothing's crazy about them. I've got that one in my library. It's it, like a Passover. We have, oh, I like this one. Weekend Waffle Shawl. I like the idea of doing it in a weekend. The, nothing looks hard about that. It looks like mistake rib. I hope it's not brioche. <laughs> not that I don't like it, but it's not fun to take out. All right, more. Oh, I thought this was cute. That one's pretty. This is River by Yumiko Alexander. She has beautiful designs. I like all this drop stitch. And I feel like you could end with the beaded silk mm, or the beaded mohair, yeah. and it's just right down here. Gives you a nice elongated line. 
if you're a crocheter, I thought this was pretty. Open lace work, sleeveless top. Obviously, you normally would wear a cami underneath it. I like a cami look a little bit more. Yeah. But that's done on a G hook. I like that there's different sizing. All right, we have four more patterns, but, oh my gosh, the purple people, yep, ready. This is color 2238 paired with N35B. It is a cool purple. I would say it's hydrangea purple. It yeah. lends itself to be more blue. I love the highs and lows that you're getting on it. I like the clear beads and clear sequins. So you're getting a little bit of glitz without it just shouting at you. I'm gonna go a little faster because good lordy. This feels like cashmere too. It is. Yeah, that one. Oh I my goodness. One. All right. This is N24A. It is violet red. You can see the purple in it, but lends itself to be more of a pinky purple than a pinkle. Hmm. Punkle? I don't remember. Anna used to say something that was super yeah. funny. And then this is H5 in beaded cashmere and sequins. This is the metal. Yeah. When we're like, we don't know what it is. This is the metal, um, metal sequins, metal beads. Or silver sequins, metal beads. But my goodness, look at how rich in all the color variations you're getting in that beaded cashmere and sequins. Definitely a treat to knit with. All right, so far. Eileen likes that one. Right. <laughs> I'm not surprised. Okay, three more. Oh, it's so hard. I love this one. This is purple N24A. Is that the same one? Yeah. It is, yeah. N24A with eggplant 289, and it is silver sequins and copper lined beads. Beaded silk and sequins, light 289. Okay, I'm gonna do this. I have two more. Oh, I love this one too. This is H5 Deep, which means they really darkened it to get that. And N18A in beaded silk and sequins light. Clear beads, clear sequins. Purple gorgeousness. For the finale, oh my goodness, this is a beauty. This sings to me. I don't, and it's not normally my colors, but I just think it is gorgeous. We have 2246, which is charcoal gray, um, but it's highlights, highlights charcoal gray, and then 907 beaded silken sequence silver. You can see there is, I feel like this is very Ralph Lauren because there's the green, there's the gray, there is Merlot and there's blue. It is definitely in that um, line. 907 silver, 2246. You guys will see we have paired them together. Let's look at, we have three more, four more patterns. Right, all right, here we are, the layer cake. This is Tenacious Crochet. Is that beautiful? That is really pretty. Mm -hmm. They double-stranded something, but you could single-strand. I like it. It's a cute little cowl. I like that you can open the button so you can have more or less. Oh, Spring Clean's my, I think, is that it? That might be it. Cherry Drop. Please don't. All right. I'm just curious. What is your favorite? All right, we'll start here. You guys do, that's me. If it's, you wanna, this is something that you're in love with. We have 319, that is butter yellow. 404, light lemon yellow. And you can do hearts, anything that you love. 
color 1051 cream. This is just like happy spring. Instead of pastel spring, we've got seafoam green. We have um, this neon pink that breaks into almost like a purple with some aqua blue, just beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I love this one, 2287. This is really like a mauve pink, beautiful. Um, I love this one. This is a cooler pink tones with, I like this, all the variety in that. I like that gold section, N25F. F, N2F, that's a neon pink. I love this one. This is like electric coral would be a good yeah. name for this. This is N, uh, 7398 or 398. I'm, of course, in love with the cashmere glitter, 369, paired with 746. I mean, this is my mother, but this is me. I love this one. 260, that antique gold with 310. Just the shades of that one are gorgeous silk mohair glitter. We have the N35B, which is beautiful, cool um, hydrangea purple. This is a very warm N24A, so it's more of a violet red paired with beaded cashmere and sequins H5. And then we have a N24A paired with 289 eggplant with copper lined beads. We have beautiful H5 Deep paired with N18A. And last but not least, 2246, which is a highlighted charcoal with 907 silver. Joyce, you like the electric? Yeah. Oh, so beautiful. Whether you're a knitter or crocheter, we have the patterns for you. Remember, you can find all these patterns two different ways. They're either on our YouTube channel, which Susan links you directly to it, or in our private Facebook group, Nick Collective. You can look on there also. So we take you right to where you're going. We'll talk about what we're wearing. You guys know, I just finished this. This is Spring Fling, all one word, by The Petite Knitter. Top down in the round, I used um, some yarns that I have, some yarns I bought, but I kind of, I really like it. I think it's very pretty. Of course, it's in my wheelhouse of pink. I'm embracing, I'm becoming like Gigi. <laughs> Everything pink? Uh, yes, I'm just going to do pink because I love it. Yeah. Shades of pink. Oh, nice. All right, we'll turn around, show you what Susan is wearing. I love this one. This would be beautiful out of this yarn. It would, and you could totally do it. This is Pebble Beach number four. I'm gonna go up close. Look at how gorgeous. Number four, this is your fourth one? Probably, I think. Well, what is number four the mean? Third or fourth. Oh, okay. I mean, so I'm not it positive. it's actually called Pebble Beach. Yeah, it's Pebble Beach. Thank but you, I was I've, like, is that No, Pebble I've, Beach I've just done a lot of them. And it They're is- They're beautiful. It is a crescent, and it has, Yarn overs. Beaded silk. I think there's no sequins in my bottom edge. I closer so you guys can see that. But it, and the pico bind off. It just adds such a nice weight to the project. It does. Now, if you are doing picos, just send your project to Susan. She loves to buy. It. <laughs> <laughs> I can block that if my life depended on it. Yeah. But look how cute it is. She's gonna show you how she puts it on. Sorry, the camera's a little funky. Sometimes I pin out every Pico. Sometimes you don't have to. It just depends on the individual project and how it behaves. All right. We'll turn around. All right, my lovelies. We are off. I will be on live at 3 o'clock with Knit, Sick, and Knit, Sip, and Hope with Boss Lady. Jilda may be here because I'm doing my fall ordering today. Mm. How crazy is that? But thank you, everyone, for watching us. We can't wait to pack your orders. And I, I love bringing home things, even if I have to buy a new suitcase every time, for you guys to see what fun and exciting things are available at the show. So have an amazing day, and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.